What's up, people? Welcome to the channel. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the Carpuride W901. This is one of their newest products that they just released. And for you guys that aren't familiar with Carpuride's products, I've done a lot of product reviews for them in the past and received a lot of good feedback from people that purchase these. And for you guys that don't know, this is going to be a quick, easy way to be able to install pretty much a 9-inch screen into a vehicle. And then you'll be able to add Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, GPS. You'll be able to mirror your phone off of this. So really cool device here that allow you to update your vehicle. And this can be installed in any vehicle and it's only gonna take a couple minutes to install. Anybody could do this super easy, and I'll show you that here in a little bit. All right, guys, so let's take a look at everything this Carpuride comes with. First up, you're gonna get your power cable here. This is gonna be just your normal 12-volt plug that's gonna go into your 12-volt outlet, like your cigarette lighter, something like that. Get a lot of cord there. Also, you're gonna get a 3.5 millimeter aux cord to 3.5 so you guys that have the 3.5 adapter already in your car you can use this for the audio input from your car you ride to the speakers in your car you get your user manuals you're also going to get a couple mounting brackets here this does have a suction cup on the bottom so this can be dash mounted or windshield mounted and this does adjust so it extends out this head rotates and you can lock it down and also you just unscrew this here and you can angle this. So lots of flexibility here with this telescoping dash mount. You're going to get another mount here that's also adjustable for your say your dashboard. Here's a plate to be able to mount the suction cup on your dashboard so there's a bunch of different ways you can mount this like i said dashboard windshield um, it does have adjustability built into the arm there and then you got your nine inch screen so let's take a closer look at the nine inch screen all right guys so let's take a look at the inputs and outputs on the side of the carp you ride here all right so as you can see right at the top here is going to be where you plug in your power cord you got a usb a input there and this can be used to plug in say a thumb drive or even your phone to charge it or to transfer data. You got an AV out right there, so that's gonna be where you're gonna put your 3.5 millimeter cord that I showed you earlier, and then plug that into your 3.5 in your car to be able to transfer audio to your speakers. Here's your cam in, so you can actually hook up a camera, like a backup camera to this. You got your SD card input there if you wanna put files on an SD card and then be able to look at those on the screen that way. And then you do have an external mic input if you want to install a mic. On the back here is where you're gonna install your mounts. Right on the top here, you do have a power button, and this power button has a couple different functions. If you long press it, it will turn the device off. If you short press it, it will mute it. Real small in the corner of the screen here is its built-in microphone. There's a look at the screen. Like I said earlier, it is a nine inch screen. And also on the back here, it does have built-in speakers. All right guys, so we'll go ahead and I'll put this suction cup on the back real easy. It just slides up, clicks into place, super easy. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna plug this in and we'll go over the interface here before I show you guys how to install this in your vehicle. All right guys, so I got the power cord here. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this in the side where it says DC. So that's plugged in there. I'm gonna turn in on my power supply just to get some power to this. And there you go, Carpu Ride. They got their support site there. And then there is your home screen. As you guys can see, nice clear HD screen there. Up top, you got your home button. You got your volume there. So you, for the internal speaker, you can adjust the, the volume. You're gonna have your time here. Once you go ahead and set that up in the settings, you got your Bluetooth. You got your brightness here. So your brightness can be turned up or down. And then this does have auto brightening built in so during the daytime it'll be bright and then at nighttime it'll dim down automatically 
Here's a little background. It's going to change your background as I'm tapping that. You guys can see the background changes. And then you got your help button there. And then these bigger icons here. Here's your iPlay. This is going to be used with your iPhone. This is going to allow you to connect it wirelessly or wired. And when you connect it wired, you're going to use the USB-A on the back here that I showed you guys earlier. Just make sure that you use a good quality data cable so that you don't have any problems. Here you're going to have Android Auto. This is going to be for your Android phones to be connected wirelessly or wired. You got AirPlay here. This is going to be for your iPhone and this is going to connect through Wi-Fi or your hotspot. You got Auto Link. This is going to allow you to connect your iPhone or your Android phone wired only for this, but this is going to allow you to mirror your phone. And for you guys that aren't sure what that means is, I'll show you guys that in a little bit, but pretty much whatever is going to be on your phone will be transferred to this screen. Over here we have the built-in EQ, which is a nice touch, so you can adjust that to however you like it. And then they got some preset settings in here that you can use. So nice way to adjust your sound. You got Bluetooth button here. So this is going to allow you to connect Bluetooth wise. And then it's going to show your contacts and your history, your keyboard there. You got your USB. So if you want to plug in a USB thumb drive, you got your SD card slot. So the transmit button down here is going to be FM transmit or Bluetooth transmit. On the older versions of the Carpy Ride, I've always used the FM transmit. It just seemed like it was the easiest pretty much to do that. You just set your radio that's in your car to a certain station. It's kind of like the older FM transmitters that we used to use back in the day. But this will just pretty much connect to your radio station in your car. You set it on this, you set it on your radio in the car, and it plays through the speakers that way. Or you can go through your Bluetooth here. And then over here you have your settings. So you have language, device speaker. So this is gonna allow you to either use the speaker that's built into this, or to use the speakers that are in your car. Right drive, restore factory settings, system version. Then you got your wired link however you want to wire your Android or your iPhone. You can select which one. You got your Wi-Fi here, and then you have video warning. This is gonna be kind of like your, if you hook up a camera. It's gonna, you can display park lines, park line settings, and then you can mirror your rear camera if you decide to hook up a camera to this. So this is gonna be really easy to use. First up, we'll go ahead and I'll connect my Android phone. You're just going to go into your Bluetooth settings on your phone, and then we can go into Bluetooth here. And as you guys see right there, available devices, Carpy Ride, super easy, quick, and it's already connected to my Z Fold 4. All right guys, so as you can see there, went right into my Pandora. So this is gonna be Android Auto. That's how quick and easy it was. I am hooked up wirelessly. It's got my 5G, got my phone battery down there. It's in Pandora. And as you guys can see here, this is all the Android Auto. You can go into your Spotify, your smart things, Pandora, your phone, got some podcast, got the weather. You can customize this. This is your typical Android Auto wirelessly now in your vehicle which is pretty cool you got your maps you got news you got your calendar you got your messages so super cool to be able to use this with android auto over here down at the bottom you have your microphone so you can use voice commands if you want to what is the weather in california right now in los angeles it's 60 degrees and cloudy Today, it'll be cloudy with a forecasted high of 69 and a low of 58. So right there you heard the, you know, the internal speaker on the carp you ride. And like I said, you can't adjust the volume for that. A quick way to do that is just to touch the power button up top and it'll bring up the volume and you can turn it up. So the speaker's not too bad. Not super loud or anything like that, but most of the time you're just going to be using this with your speakers that are built into your vehicle. If you want to, you can go ahead and you can do split screen here. You can have your navigation here and then like a podcast or something. And then if you touch down here at the corner, 
It'll pull up your notifications. If you have any notifications on your phone, they'll be displayed here. So kind of cool, really easy to use. All right, so another cool feature besides Android Auto or Apple CarPlay is you can mirror your phone with this. So to do that, you go into your settings. You're gonna hit the phone icon right here. So when you click into the phone, you're gonna have two different options here. You're gonna be able to use the wired cable that I have plugged into the side here of the USB-A, so you guys can see. You can either choose that to be used with the Android Auto, or you can use it with the Auto Link. So I'm gonna choose Auto Link, because that's what I wanna use it for. You're gonna hit the home button, you go to Auto Link, and it's gonna give you some instructions here, either for your iPhone, or for your Android phone. So for my Android setup, for, to use my Android phone, I'm gonna have to go to the Google Store and download Autolink. And it tells you all this right on the Carpy Ride. So I already went ahead and did that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on my phone here and I actually downloaded Autolink Pro. So you can do Autolink Pro or just Autolink. I did Autolink Pro. And then down at the corner here, it's, it's gonna show you two different ways to connect it. We're gonna connect it with the wired because that's how the Carpio Ride works. So I'm gonna click on that wire. And now pretty much you're all set up and you can just plug your phone in. And it's connecting to the auto link. So now it's gonna be able, you're gonna be able to mirror your phone. So right here, it just says start now. Went ahead and there is my phone being mirrored let me zoom out here for you guys so there's my phone i'll go ahead and go into youtube here there's my youtube channel on my phone and then also on the screen there turn the phone sideways and there you go now you can put your phone to the side and you can use the screen on the carp you ride and you can scroll through all the videos and everything so here's one of my video previous videos. And you can full screen it. And there's my video playing. Go ahead, hit the volume. Volume's all the way up. And then I'll make sure it's all the way up on my phone. offer multiple different screen sizes and different designs. Pretty much they can do the same thing. It's just a different look and different screen shape. So if you guys are interested in more of a screen size like this, I'll make sure I put a link in the description box below so you guys can get a better look at this. So pretty cool way to be able to view YouTube on your screen inside your car. You can also do obviously Netflix, anything that your phone plays, you can play on your Carpy Ride screen here. All right guys, so first you're gonna wanna find a spot in your vehicle to mount this. Like I said, there's multiple different ways you can mount it. You can mount it on your dash, like how I have it currently. You can mount it on your windshield. You can mount it here, wherever is best in your vehicle. And then it's got tons of adjustability up and down, left, right. And then you just lock it into place. Go ahead and leave it right there. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your power cord. And then down here, I have my 12 volt source. So I'm gonna plug that in. And then right next to that, you guys can see I have a 3.5 millimeter line input. So that's gonna to be to use this cable that came with it. And that's how you can transfer your audio from the carp you ride to the speakers in your car. So that's just one of the ways that you can do it. All right guys, so as soon as I plugged it in, it already connected to my phone. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use your speakers with the transmitter. So you go ahead and go into transmitter. You can go FM transmitter. And then pretty much from that point, you're just gonna select a channel that you're gonna set into the Carpy Ride. And you're gonna set the same channel on your radio in your car. So we'll go ahead, we'll go 95.10. So that's 95.10. And then what I'm gonna do is, there's the current station in my car, 95.5. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 95.10. You can turn the power on and off. So right now, this is 95.10 on my radio. So as soon as I turn, so as soon as I turn this power on, it's going to stop the static and it's going to transmit to the carpet ride. 
So as you guys see, you don't hear anything now. So now we can go into Android Auto, go into Spotify, and we can play. Their latest meeting on the debt limit and spending productive, but lawmakers are keeping up the pressure. They're going to cause over 100,000 jobs to be lost. We're going to push this button here and crash the economy. So as you guys see, this is it's playing through my interior speakers on my taking. House Car Democratic right Conference now. Vice Chair Ted Lieu criticizing Republican proposals for spending. Went ahead and paused it. So that's how easy it is to get this to play inside of your vehicle. So pretty much just save that channel in your car station, program it in your car, and then it will always connect. Now as far as the volume goes, the volume is really no different than what you would play your normal radio at. It gets pretty loud. Amidst with a debt default possibly just over a week away, House Republican Conference Chair... I don't know if you guys can tell, but have offered an alternative it gets just as loud bill. as House your Republicans regular radio. Passed... Alright guys, so I want to show you one more way that you can connect your audio. I'm in my truck now because my other car didn't even have Bluetooth capabilities. So this new carp you ride, a 901, allows you to connect Bluetooth. So you can connect your phone Bluetooth to the carp you ride, and then the carp you ride will connect Bluetooth to your vehicle. And then that's the way you can play it through your speakers. So as you guys can see here, Bluetooth pairing, and it is paired with the carp you ride through Bluetooth. And then if you look at my phone here, my phone is going to show that it is connected to the Carpy Ride. So right now my phone is connected to the Carpy Ride. The Carpy Ride is connected to the Bluetooth in my vehicle wirelessly and we can go ahead and just play it. Role in transmitting vital information during emergencies. A super typhoon is approaching Guam. President Biden approving an emergency declaration. So as you guys can see here, this is the new feature on the carpy ride a lot of people went wanting this and they finally put it in the 901 carpy ride which is awesome so you guys that just have bluetooth capabilities in your vehicle you can now connect your carpy ride wirelessly through your bluetooth in your car you don't have to hook up your 3.5 and you don't have to go through the FM transmitter. Super easy way to integrate with your speakers in your car. All right guys, so there you go. Cool new feature on the Carpy Ride 901, the Bluetooth to Bluetooth transmission. Being able to transmit Bluetooth to the Carpy Ride from your phone and then from the Carpy Ride to your vehicle. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting that for a while with these Carpy Rides and now they finally have that feature, so that's pretty cool. Along with the Android Auto you're adding, you got this nine inch screen that you can view, you got your GPS, navigation, you got Apple CarPlay, you can mirror your phone so you can watch YouTube, Netflix, and super easy to install. Another cool feature is this is easily portable, so if you work during the week, say you're a driver or something, you can take this, put this in your, your truck during the week when you're doing those road trips, and then during the weekend, you can take it out of your truck, put this in your personal vehicle, and use it in there also. So tons of flexibility with the Carpy Ride 901. If you guys are interested in this, I'll post some links in the description box below. You Go ahead and use those links. There'll be affiliate links. They help out the channel a lot. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, smash that like button. If you guys got any questions, go ahead and put those in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you on the next one.